Good evening mutton Easters, welcome back to China. I'm still in the province of Sichuan in the west of China and I've moved on to a town called Eme, home to a famous mountain called Eme Shan and very close to a massive Buddha carved in the rock called the Lushan Buddha. However, I don't have time as always to bring you those attractions, but I do have time to bring you food. In the background, there are plenty of people dancing here. Every night they put on free dancing and there are five or six different groups doing everything from ballroom dancing to zumba. But you know me folks, I'm not here to dance, I'm here to bring you the food. And one of the local specialities is a Sichuan hot pot. I brought you the Mongolian version, now for the real deal, the properly spicy one. Okay, Mutton Easters, we have arrived at our dining destination, our restaurant for the evening, and we are dining a lot later than most Chinese do. It's about half past nine at the moment in the evening. Now, in case you don't know, there are different styles of hot pot, of course. We had the Mongolian one before, but within Sichuan province, there are three types we can have of varying spice levels. We have the Chengdu style hot pot, which is hot, but not the hottest, I think. Chongqing style, which has more oil and sesame, but I'm gonna check what the difference is. And the third type is with fish heads exclusively. We're here for a Chengdu style hot pot. We are closer to Chengdu than we are Chongqing. So Matanistas, let's head in and find out what it's all about. Mr. Fu busy ordering our meat and fish and vegetables. And for those of you who don't know, we tick various boxes on a sheet to order what we want, but the problem is it's all written in Chinese. So for once in my life, I am completely useless at ordering in these sorts of places. So I'll leave it to Mr. Fu. And there is the most wonderful smell in here from other customers who are in the middle of their hot pot. The aroma's wafting over. They're very, very strong, but this is the most traditional style of eating in Sichuan province, and for me, the tastiest. A bit of tea on the table, not sure what type of tea, alas. And, of course, the ubiquitous bottles of Chinese beer. Water for mutton the wimp, of course, but I will tell you something that this food is not wine food. I wouldn't bother having wine with this, and if you must, have a really cold white wine. The food is that spicy. Now, in an ideal world, Metanistas, I'd like to bring you both this and the Chongqing style hot pot, and possibly even the fish head hot pot, but I am so busy here, I'm not really sure whether I'll find the time. Hope I will, but this might be the last video in the hot pot series, so we'd better make it a good one. And the tea, which is chrysanthemum tea, often served in Hong Kong style restaurants. Really tasty, to be honest, not too dissimilar to Jasmine. So rather than me inventing the difference between the Chongqing and the Chengdu style hot pot, I'm going to ask Mr. Fu, who knows a lot more about this than I do. So what is the difference between the Chongqing and Chengdu style hot pot? The Chongqing hot pot. They use loads, loads of uh, like butter from the cow, and they use more peppercorns make your tongue numb. Chengdu style is is 
too spicy, not as uh, numb as okay. from this. Put more chilies then? In Chengdu, yes. Yes, okay. This is more. It will make us burn. Ah. So the way this works is that we eventually see this heater bubble away and we dip meat, offal, tripe, fish, beef, 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 beef. I, I eat tripe, I ordered one. Okay, and this is? This is uh, kava. This is made from uh, rice. Okay. It's their speciality. But metalistas, before we start dunking the meat into the hot pot, we have to get our dip sorted out. And the dip, we go and make ourselves. I don't know how to do it, even though I've had this dish so many times before. So I'm going to leave it to the experts. Right, take me through it. I will really make the wrong dip. If you don't think your hot pot, not spicy. <laughs> you can put something in. <laughs> the garlic, they scratch okay. it very, very thin. Okay. And coriander is a must. Yes. Uh, Spring onion. Spring onion, yes. This is also <laughs> chili powder. That's the uh, vegetable. I don't like it. Okay. That's the uh, Cantonese style. Uh, Sweet sauce. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're not having that. Yeah, that's uh, peanuts. Okay. That. It's MSG. You MSG. We, we, we don't need that either. No. Now, last time I had one of these, we had a bit of sesame in the dip, and they bring that to the table, apparently. For me, is that's enough. Coriander. Okay. And we must make it authentic for the viewers and add a little bit of chip. Yes, why not? <laughs> I can't have that. There are some experts, can? You can see. Okay, folks, I've appointed myself an expert. And come of the hour, come of the sesame. Now, I've also spotted here what looks like some prawn meat and some luncheon meat, still popular in China. But is this meat fresh or frozen, or could it be either? Uh, fresh. Fresh. It has to be fresh. Okay. And do we start yet, or do we wait We're until this is melted? Yeah. Right, okay. So we wait for all the buttery stuff to melt before we start digging in. So, out of my dining group, it looks like it's only myself who's loaded my bowl up with chilli. Next time, when it's boiled up, we can dig in. Okay. And another thing is, Matanistas, don't wear an expensive top when you're eating this because it is so difficult to avoid little bits of oil spilling or staining your top. And I'm as messy as they come. I really should have worn a cheap t-shirt for this meal. Oh well, let's see how we do. I've only managed to ruin one on this trip so far. Mr. Foo's eight dunks. Seven. Seven down, even. No, seven up, eight down. And eight down. It's like a form of Sichuan exercise, really. Yeah. So we all seem to be started with the tripe. I'll follow suit. I know a lot of you can't stand this, but I like it. Okay, let's give it a whirl. What happens when you eat like this? is that dip gets progressively spicier. It's not that spicy now, even though I think it's got a bit of a kick. But I can assure you, by the time we finish this meal, my breath will be able to cause an explosion at a petrol station. And as with the Mongolian hot pot, make sure the meat is cooked through. Slight problem, I have lost the piece of meat I put in but we have some implements to try and fish it out. Right, apparently there's some interesting surprises coming out of the hot pot. But in the meantime, the meat is actually the best bit, of course. Mm -hmm. 
千六百四十多，那个。So we have some duck blood, which again is something a lot of you won't like, but I like it, and it is completely different from Sichuan apparently. One of Mr. Fu's favourites. I won't eat duck blood in Beijing or any other place. Oh, okay. And that Batonista sense of so many of the spices, it has really got my stomach on fire already, and we've only just started. It is good. Much better than we have. Now, I'm not going to man up and say it's not spicy. Some of that duck's blood had me coughing, not because of the meat or the blood itself. Just because it was so spicy. So I've had to take a bit of a break, but I'm back at the crease now. And I'm going to go for the luncheon meat now. So what's going in now? That's beef. Beef. Spam, 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 spam. Never has done a lot for me. Let's see if it does a lot for me here. Well, I've had it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese hot pots, to be honest. Oh, well. It's okay. Oh. And for those of you who are wondering, there is a gas fire oh. underneath the hot pot, and it can be adjusted if the bubbling gets a little bit too aggressive and spits on people. Or oh. if the assembled gun is just going to take a bit of a break. Now, what is this? Uh, well, I've just found out what it is, Matanistas. Apparently, these are pig's arteries. All parts of the animal go into these hot pots. If you don't like that sort of thing, you can just order prime cuts of meat like the beef we're having and some vegetables and fish and what have you. But I like to stick with tradition, as you know. And if it's not celery, I'll eat it. You know, normally I don't eat what I don't know. But when it comes to hot, when local people are hiding into ordering this, they have to have a reason. They every time say this is good, this is delicious. So I just follow their instructions. And the waitress is busy spooning the prawn meat into the hot pot. In we go, in for a penny, in for a pound. 40 to 50 seconds apparently this goes in for, so we'd better fish it out. Quite a firm texture again, soaks up the spices beautifully. Can't sound wild about it, but I am wild about that duck's blood, and we've got some more on the way. Prawn meat time. I think this is reconstituted really prawn, so it's not actually fresh prawn. But it's still a good addition to the whole. Yep, we're going all in here. Well, the broth was turned down to a light simmer whilst we took a break, but it's been heated up again, and we've just gone all in on that beef. And I have to say, I am generating more than a bit of a dab here. I am sweating like mad. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't work. See, I'm not the only one messing his shirt up here. So I thought they just added water to our soup there, and apparently it's more stock rather than water, because you don't want it to dry up too much. A couple of our party have gone for a cigarette. Yes, in China it's hard to avoid smoking, but they have shown the courtesy to go outside, and that seemed like a good time to top up the stock. And for me to wipe my brow after I eat some of this. That is the premium tender cut of beef, wow. But I forgot that I'd not scrape the chilies and the peppercorns off. I think, to be honest, this is the right choice of beverage for this meal. Okay, more good stuff has arrived. We have some fish, we have some pig's kidneys, and something I've not had in a hot pot before, eel. I am quite looking forward to that. And these tables are so cleverly designed, 
controls for the gas, and something very important, tissues. Now a question, was hot pot originally a poor man's dish? Yes, originally for those water for uh, the, all the boats and the Yangtze River from ah. Chongqing. Ah. You've been there? Yes. Okay, in goes the fish. And how long does this take to cook? This not long. Not long. Not long. Alright. And what were you saying about the weather affecting people having hot pots? Because it's cold and humid ah. in winter. Ah. They have to use spicy like chilies and peppercorns. But they, they, they found the cow butter. Yeah. Very useful. Ah. Now that fish has ah. barely been in a minute, if that. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh yes. I do like my fish and I have a suspicion this hasn't got many bones if any at all. I'm not sure. But... No. Mm. Don't put that in for more than a minute. It is cooked perfectly. I always find in Sichuan province that the fish are either incredibly bony or they have no bones at all. I don't know why that is. Okay. Okay. He'll go in. This needs a bit of time. Okay. How long is a bit of time? Almost two minutes. Okay. Well, Mr. Fu is saying he loves the fish. And I so much at least as I love it so much that I think we should order another plate for. <laughs> okay, time for the eel. And eel really is one of my favourite fish. <laughs> Amazingly, not bony, not bony at all. And whilst this is very spicy, you can still taste the base ingredient. You can taste the flavour of the eel. What a combination! Okay, some tofu skin has gone in now, that's one of my favourites. But it's also one of the spiciest things you can put in there because it really does soak up all the spices. Tofu, not as bland as you think it is, if it's cooked in spices and flavour. And a little reload on the beef, the duck's blood. We have some sort of vegetable down there and a bit more fish. Okay. So the pig's kidneys are being summarily dunked and swamped in the broth. And they don't take too long to do either. Anyway, in the meantime, tofu time. Well, I need a quick slurp after that. Go. <laughs> One numb tongue and a numb throat now as well. Now the pig's kidney dunking away into what is now a massively spicy dip. <laughs> Great consistency and flavour. And by the way, that tofu is not the spiciest thing that I'll have from this hot pot. The second spiciest thing. The hot stuff is coming right at the end. Okay, something new to come into the hot pot matanista, some potato starch noodles. Now the matanistas, whilst we've been having that little pause in proceedings, because that potato starch does take a while to cook, I have to inform you that Mr. Fu has changed his dip. He's been a chicken. <laughs> so now we have the new dip and the old one, which has got all the spicy goodness in it. And I assure you, matanistas, I have not wimped out. I am not depriving you of the full-on spicy experience. My bowl is overflowing with that spicy broth and the oil and the herbs and the chilies. This looks a bit awkward to eat, this potato noodle. 
and warm temperature wise. I'm just going to wait a minute till that cools down. Okay, here goes. As promised, fish part two. <laughs> Chopstick into the hot pot with loving care. Now, Matanistas, finally time for the most spicy part of the hot pot, and you're going to be surprised by what it actually is. And Mr. Fu there is holding the deadly weapons, the veg, the green veg. This is going to be like eating something from the bowels of hell, my dip is so spicy. In they go. Anyway, when I eat this Matanistas, I'm going to need ice cream or a fire extinguisher or both. And if I remember correctly, this veg doesn't need much time at all. The Chinese don't like overcooking their veg. Here we go, this is a lethal weapon. Oh. Well, now, mutton easters, this soaks up all those meaty and fishy juices, but also the spices. This is by far the spiciest thing I've eaten in this hot pot. It is like being assaulted by a vegetable. And Mr. Ho, after some coaxing, is having some of the vegetable. Bula? Bula? It's okay. Oh dear me! I didn't realize this at all. I'm going to say it's like cheese. It's like cheese. No doubt. No doubt. Just in case you think I'm wimping out, Matanistas, I am eating lots of veg from that hot pot. One last one, Matanistas. Have to make sure we get our greens. Greens are good for you, and I'm certainly getting my five a day here. Finally, Mr. Hey, Easton, we hey, have polished hey, it all hey, off. Hey, my hey, mouth hey, is on fire. Hey, my throat hey, is on fire. Hey, my stomach hey, is on fire. Hey, Some hey, of it could have hey, my hey, nose, and hey, that's hey, on fire. Hey, I don't know how I'm going to quench hey, this fire, but I'm going to wrap the video up now. This might be the last one in China that I'm going to do. Depends on my work schedule. It's not clear at the moment. But for the time being, it's bye from Ume City in Sichuan province. And it's goodbye from Mr. Fu. Bye all. Goodbye from Mr. Ho. So, we'll love you and leave you here. This meal was viciously spicy. You can order medium, mild or spicy. This was medium, but I did add a lot of chilies to my dip. The cost was 550 yuan between four and a half of us. So that's about 18 quid each. We ordered a hell of a lot, drank quite a lot of beer and water as well. As I said, you don't have to have all the offer. Just use Google Translate if you're in a restaurant where uh, everything's in Chinese and say you want some pork, you want some beef, you want some tofu, you want some vegetables and fish and so on and they'll bring it to the table for you. And if you're a spice merchant you will absolutely adore this meal. People think of India and Thai being the hottest foods and yes they have some hot dishes but this is some of the hottest spiciest stuff that I've ever eaten. And well, the spice well, just keeps biting around. back on me, rebounding. I hope we find some ice cream <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> but boy, I need it. In the meantime, please remember to keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. Tell your friends about me, especially of their spice merchants. But most importantly, don't forget, you can't beat a bit of mutton.